Hello and welcome to Indie Rebel VFX, Hollywood effects without a Hollywood budget. I'm El Director and today what I want to do is cover something that is extremely important to understand with Natron. Um, and it has to do with alpha channels and how alpha channels work when you're using them in conjunction with merges. If you've seen my Indie Rebel course or if you've seen any of my most recent videos where I'm merging things, you may have noticed myself getting very frustrated when uh, a certain B input on the merge would get disconnected. And I'll show you what I mean by that right here using uh, these two images as our example. So I'll show you what has been happening and then I'll explain why it's happening, okay? So we're gonna take this image of a helicopter with smoke coming out of it and just composite it on top of this forest background, okay? We're not doing anything fancy or crazy with it. So let's go ahead and find our chroma key here. We'll put that in right here, let's go ahead and view it. We will select the shade of green to get rid of that. And now we're going to merge this on top of our background. So A over B. Now, what I want you to watch as I do this, B channel, you have your red, your green, your blue, and your alpha. Watch what happens to the alpha when I do this. So I hook it up. And you can see that alpha now got disconnected. And when you look at the image, everything looks fine at this point. You may be saying, well, there's nothing wrong with that. However, let me show you how you can prove that there is something wrong with the image right now. Um, if we go and view our chroma key here, so we just have this right here, we can view the alpha channel by coming up to this little checkerboard, and you click that and you can see the alpha channel of the key. You can also, at this point, view your alpha channel. If I turn the checkerboard off and just press A here in the viewer, you can see there's our alpha, there's our mat, right? So we know that there's an alpha channel in place. So I'm gonna leave the checkerboard on and now I'm gonna view this merge again and watch what happens now. You can see, like you're still seeing the checkerboard. Where'd it go? Yet if I turn the checkerboard off, I can see the composite. It looks like it's there. It looks like it's working. But when I'm viewing my background, I can see there's all sorts of issues. And when I render this out, I'm going to have those issues. So what the heck is going on? On top of that, if I go ahead and just press A again to view my alpha channel, we'll shut that off. I still have an alpha channel here of the helicopter it's like what the heck at this point the image should not have an alpha channel this should all be solid white so here's what's going on the way natron works and the way these merge nodes work oh and by the way this is why it, before in the past i'd always come in and you know have to recheck that every single time you can see now i have a solid alpha and everything works here even with the checkerboard on and off it doesn't matter if i uncheck that though that's what we were getting so why is it unchecking this what is going on the clue to what's happening is actually right down here in these uh, drop downs. You can see our B, which is our background, is only bringing in an RGB image. So because there's no alpha in that, as soon as we hook it up to B, the B alpha gets disconnected because Natron doesn't think there's an alpha channel there. Whereas our A layer, which does have a key now because, or does have an alpha because we keyed it out, our A does have the alpha, and that's why we see RGBA. So we're trying to do an RGBA on top of an RGB, and it just doesn't work that well. So how, what's the way around this? How can we fix this? How can we make this work? There's a few options and a few things we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this merge, so we start over fresh. I'm gonna view my background, and one thing you can do is you can come down here to Output Components and make this RGBA, just like that. That's all you have to do. Visually, nothing changes, right? I can view the alpha, no, nothing's there. And you know, if I switch between them at this point, RGB, RGBA, there's no visual change, except for when you look down here in this bottom corner of your viewer, this tells you what channels you're working with. I have an RGBA at 32 float. If I put this back to RGB, you can see that A disappears from here. So that's the big telltale that you're only working with three channels that you don't have that fourth alpha channel. So if I put this to RGBA, and now I'm gonna do my merge just as before. I'm gonna go and view it. And you can see everything is checked. If I hook up the B now, hey, what do you know? Everything works the way we thought it would work. Nothing came unchecked because if we look at our B layer, it is RGBA and RGBA. So it's perfect. That's what it should do at that point. Now I'm the kind of person, just like with pre-multiplication, I like to see that there's a node whenever I'm screwing with my alpha channels. I don't like to just automatically assume that this is gonna be the case. So what you can do, we'll come back in here. In fact, let's delete the merge, just like before.
go back into our reader I'm gonna set this back to RGB because by default that's how this comes in it comes in as RGB because there's no alpha channel and what I do keep an eye on our channels down here is I'm just gonna go ahead and add a shuffle node and with that shuffle selected you can see it's now added an alpha channel I now am viewing an RGBA so it stands to reason that if we do our merge and we hook this up boom nothing changes down here and if we view the image everything's looking great doesn't matter what I'm viewing if I go to view the alpha channel everything is solid and white just like it should be so when you, you are bringing in elements to merge especially when you're putting CGI such as this helicopter over the top of a background be sure that you're either adding a shuffle node or that you're coming in here and changing your output components to RGBA it doesn't matter which way you go they both accomplish the exact same thing all we're doing is adding an alpha channel to the existing RGBs. I like doing it with a shuffle node because I can look at that and know that, hey, I've done something with my alphas when I come in it back into a project, you know, a month or two months down the road. So I hope this has helped some of you. It certainly helped me when I got this all figured out today and why things were happening the way they were. Um, and so I want to share it with you because I figure if I'm having problems with this, surely somebody else has been having problems with it. And this has been so frustrating to me for the longest time because time after time after time, I would sit here, I would set up my shot just like this. And having come from After Effects two years ago where, you know, you can just throw things on top of each other, I was doing this and couldn't figure out why my images was getting all screwed up and I have to come back down in here and recheck that A, forcing that to go. And it was just a pain in the butt. But now I know, you know, for me, come in here add your shuffle and then now you can do your merge and then everything is all hunky-dory and works the way you expect it to work so once again I'm L director you've been watching indie rebel I hope you guys have enjoyed like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time peace out